Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And today, we're going to talk about an asset. We're going to get back to the credit. That's right. It's 2021, 2020, 2021, 2022. It's always about the credit. So let's talk about it. We're going to start from the easiest credit to get, and then we're going to work our way up today. So stay tuned and welcome to Fosse Optics. Check. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back. And as you can see, we're on the YouTube Stop Struggling Now channel. And I want to thank you for being here. And please share the videos because we're getting out there and we're helping more people. Because this one right here is major. This is all about credit today. But first, I still have to talk about the join button over here on the right-hand side. Because when we did the live last night, I saw a lot of people had that icon next to their name. Which means they are members of the channel. Which means they're supporting the channel financially. So I want to thank you so much. And as most of you know, and anyone that's new here, I send special messages just to the members under the community tab and I also do one or two videos during the month specifically for members only so again without further ado we got to get into this credit game ladies and gentlemen the reason why a lot of you are still out here trying to get credit so you can buy garbage what I mean by garbage cars they go down in value homes you're actually paying for it because you pay interest on a home somebody please get a calculator and please calculate 30 years of payments and then tell me after 30 years that your house went up and then tell me after 30 years how much you paid you best believe your house should have went up because you've already paid two-thirds to almost a 100 percent of the value of your loan so anyhow, depending on your interest rate, and most people have interest rates over 3%, and anybody that's going to have a fallout, whatever happens this year, there could be fallout where interest rates could rise. But needless to say, you don't think of you yourself as throwing away money when you're buying homes, when you're buying cars, when you're buying clothes, when you're swiping your credit cards, you don't think that's money out of your pocket. You have to change your mindset, ladies and gentlemen, so that's what we're going to do. Think about credit as a tool. Think about credit as an asset, a very valuable asset that you don't want to buy anything on credit in reality. All you want to do is make sure that you have it on hand because when things come up where you can invest in and somebody says, hey, I have a great idea. I can buy something and it's $20,000. And we can make a lot of money and it shows that you have revenue coming in and you can make money. You don't want to be like 90% of the population that says, well, I don't have the 20 grand. What you want to be able to do is say, let me see, let me call up my bank where I have a $20,000 line of credit, not the bank. I'm referring to credit card, actually. Let me call my credit card that I have a $25,000 line of credit. Let me see if they're going to give me 0% for 18 months. And let's see if we can get $20,000 at 0% for 18 months where all we have to pay is 1% per month. Now you have an asset and you're using other people's money, which is the bank's money, the credit card company's money, to buy an asset. And then the revenue coming in from the asset is what you're going to use to pay back the note. Be a top 10%er. Where's my emerging millionaires at? Come on. Okay, now let's get into it. Let's go to the best $10,000 primary trade line on the planet from Attractive Gems Jewelers. Let's get it. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. There'll be a link down below in the description for a Attractive Gems Jewelers. When you click on the link, this is the page you come to. Credit application. Again, no hard inquiry. No credit check. Reports to all three credit bureaus. 
Once you pay $149.99, you don't have to pay anything else. There is no monthly fees here, ladies and gentlemen. You pay $149.99 today. A year from now on your anniversary date, an annual renewal of $99.99 will be due. And I suggest you keep it going because you will have a zero amount owed and a $10,000 primary trade line, which will help offset your debt utilization and you will have accumulated 12 monthly payments and one year of age going on your second year of age which means one year one month one year two months one year three months so to speak that's how it'll look on your credit file so this is a big one now let's get on with the next one because what's gonna happen is something else is gonna come out which is not out yet which is going to be the best $15,000 primary trade line, no credit check, reports to all three credit bureaus, no monthly payments. That's coming out in the next two months. And that's going to be SSN Lifestyle, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, there's an Instagram page, no followers, no posts, no nothing yet, but it's going to be coming out. But I had to put that in there because everybody who's watching this video, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter, Please go to the bottom of the description below the video and you can sign up for the newsletter. So then that way you will know when it comes out and there will be a wait list coming out in the next two weeks. So you can actually sign up for the wait list and then when it officially comes out, you'll be able to sign up for the $15,000 primary trade line. Again, just like Attractive Gym Jewelers, no credit check. No hard inquiry, reports to all three credit bureaus, and no monthly payment. All right, let's get on with it. We'll continue. There's the Tomo credit card because we're going to go with everything that is a no hard inquiry right now. The Tomo credit card, it has started, but most people, you sign up here, use the link. There'll be a link down below for the tomorrow card, as I call it, but it's tomocredit.com. You can go there. You see this page here. No credit check, once again, earn cash back. They have delivered some of the cards. People have had a $500 to a $5,000 credit line, okay? There's only one person I know that has a credit line of $5,000. Everybody else has a $500, $1,000, or $2,000. So again, they base it on your bank account. You have to link to your bank account. That's how they approve you, and that's how come there's no hard inquiry, no credit check, and they supposedly are going to report to all three credit bureaus. Again, it just came out in the last 30 days, so I'm sure in the next two to three weeks we'll hear of people saying it reported to all three credit bureaus. But here's another way you can get a no hard inquiry credit added to help you out, and it could be anywhere from five hundred to $10,000. So when you add all three of these up, it could be 10 for attractive gyms. It could be 15 for SSN Lifestyle. When it comes out, it could be 10 for here. That's $35,000 with no hard inquiry that show up on your credit file. And again, it's not that you're going to be using the credit. Okay? Now, let's go up with the next one. This is Grow Credit. Grow Credit has no hard inquiry as well. How this works, though, is you see here, Netflix, Pandora, Hulu. If you have anything, any bills that are $15 or less, then you can go through Grow Credit. They'll report your on-time payments to all three credit bureaus. Again, you do not have to qualify if it's $15 or less. Once you want to pay more than $15, then you have a monthly fee. But why do that? All you want is on-time payment history. Okay? All three credit bureaus. Because on-time payment history is 35% of your credit score. In case you don't know that and you're new here, that is the situation. The other 30% is debt utilization, and that's why the Attractive Gems $10,000 primary trade line, the SSN Lifestyle $15,000 primary trade line, the Tomo Credit $10,000 primary trade line can offset a whole bunch of debt utilization. you got to be under 29%, ladies and gentlemen, for your credit score to thrive. But the best part is you need to be at 9% or less. And now everything you do every month from that point on, every payment that hits, 
every month that it gets reported, you'll creep closer and closer to that infamous 740, 750 credit score and higher. So this is what you got to do. And you cannot usually have only two or three accounts because they want to see you have installment credit like this here with grow credit. They want to see you have revolving credit, which is what attractive gems is going to be. This is what SSN lifestyle is going to be. This is what Tomorrow card, Tomo card is. And next up, another, and again, grow credit, no hard inquiry, no credit check as well. All right. Now, upcoming X1 credit card link down below in the description for all of these. Once again, join the wait list because they also are claiming that they're going to do no hard inquiry, no credit check and report to all three credit cards, but it's not out yet. All right. Now, something I haven't ever talked about is Hutton Chase has a credit builder card. And again, this is no hard inquiry, no credit check, but there's a twist. This is like you have to put in a secured amount. You have to put in $200 minimum. But again, $200 minimum, they're reporting to all three credit bureaus. And once again, it's revolving credit. So now you're working on your debt utilization, making it lower. You have uh, on-time payment history because even if you do not charge anything, it reports on time. And now you can build credit because they don't do a hard inquiry, no credit check, no credit score needed. This is another way for somebody to build their credit. What more do we have to do here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, well, we have more. We have more. Let's talk about it. Here's another one where I did get a credit card with a soft inquiry. This is the shopping cart trick that a lot of people have heard about. And once again, I did it six, seven months ago. And you can go to this video. I'll have a link down below for this video. Or you can go look on the YouTube channel page for Stop Struggling Now and Google No Hard Inquiry. Not Google, but in the search, put in No Hard Inquiry. All right. That's another one. And now that's going to be, I believe it was Victoria's Secrets. So therefore, do the shopping cart trick. Pay very close attention. Get your... Uh, Chrome browser up, incognito mode, shop on the website for five minutes like you normally would be shopping, put $100 or more in the shopping cart, and when you check out, hopefully you will receive that pop-up that says you have been approved. You do not have to go forward with buying anything, but you do have to say, yes, I will accept. You do have to say, finish, but you do not have to buy the items in the shopping cart at that point. You can just check out. You'll get something in the mail from Community Bank, C-O-M-E-N-I-T-Y, that'll probably say, hey, you know what, in the mail, it's going to come, and they're going to say, you know what, I want to see your ID and your Social Security card. Can you please send a copy to us? They, again, do no hard inquiry, but they want to make sure it's you before they issue the card. So that some people, they do that, other people, they don't, but most of the time, they will do that. All right. So next up, that's another card. No hard inquiry, no credit check. And let's go with another no hard inquiry, no credit check with another shopping cart trick. And this one is Overstock. And they also use Community Bank. So you're going to have the same procedure. Under Chrome, use the incognito mode. Shop on the website at least five minutes, just like you normally shop anywhere else. And then you put in $100 or more in the shopping cart. And again, these things do not work 100% of the time. It only works about 50% of the time. 50-50 for 50% 50 of the people will get the pop-up. 50% of the people will not. So just be patient. That's why I gave you the other four, five, six opportunities where there's no hard inquiry. Now, let's get keep it going with the assets, right? Because credit is an asset. That's what you have to start thinking and looking at it as. Change your mindset, okay? Because you can change the way you live based on your credit even if you have no money which is the funny part right but if you have 20 percent down on a apartment complex and you can borrow it off your credit card guess what you have the 20 to 25 percent down the bank will give you the loan for it as long as the revenue showing from that property is covering that and then some to pay them back they will say welcome to the family all right so let's get real here ladies and gentlemen this is how we do it all right now we're going to get into another no hard inquiry we're in self 
lender is what it used to be called. They call themselves self now, but I'm still calling them self lender. No hard inquiry. This is installment loans. Once again, installment means that it's a fixed payment every month. So if you had this $25 a month payment, that's what they're going to report. It becomes an installment loan. That means they only report the on-time payments. This does not help you with your debt utilization, but that's fine. It's just another account that's showing that you're paying on time, which makes up 35% of your credit score. As they say, 30% is amounts owed, but that's on the revolving side. So again, no credit check, and you can build, rebuild your credit history, and you can cancel at any time. Now, sure, if you cancel, then it counts as a closed account, and that could reduce your age, but forget about age. We don't care about age, because why? If you really want to get a car, if you really want to get a house, they're not going to care about your age. They just want to make sure your credit score is into the 700s. So you can get the best rates. You got to have a 740 and up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just face facts. All right. So that's why we want to add this to the account. And the beauty about Self Lender is once you start, and they also have a credit card that you can get that's going to be secured, but you don't have to put in any additional money. So let's just say you had did about five or six months and you had $200 in this savings account because self lender has a savings a, a, a component to this so now you say hey you know what take the two hundred dollars and put it on that self lender credit card now you have a revolving line of credit using that secured card from self lender and it didn't cost you anything extra but you now have another reporting item on your credit file that's helping you with your debt utilization and your on-time payments and new credit is 10% of your score. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's another way no hard inquiry works. Let's get on with the next one. Credit Strong. And again, all these, I have links down below in the description so you don't have to go looking around. Credit Strong, another one, which is like Self Lender, except they have higher amounts that you can join the party for at Credit Strong. They have Magnum accounts, sometimes 9,000. They change up every now and then, 18,000. That's what they'll have, but you have to commit to a monthly payment. You can stop at any time. It's an installment loan, but again, it reports to all three credit bureaus as you make your payments on time each and every month, which is 35% of your credit score, which is major, and that's where you want to be at. Again, credit strong. Link down below in the description. Now we're going to get into some hard inquiries. Okay. All what I talked about previously was no hard inquiries, no credit checks. Now we're getting into hard inquiries. So next up is something I mentioned before, Avant, the Avant card. And the reason why I mention this is because they do personal loans and they do credit cards. As you can see here, they'll give you a $300 to $1,000 credit limit. Now, the beauty of this is, before you apply, they do a soft inquiry. And when they pull up your soft inquiry, when they get the information, then they say, okay, you're going to be approved for, let's call it $400. Then you can accept that offer and say, okay, I'll take the $400 for the credit card then they will do a hard inquiry but you're already pre-approved so now you can back out if you don't want you can see the approval saying five hundred dollars let's say and then you say well i don't want to do it then they will not do a hard inquiry but if you actually want the card which is unsecured then you have to say i'll accept then they do a hard inquiry then you're issued a card within two to three weeks that's a vaunt It'll be a link down below. Now, up next is the old standby. The best $5,000 primary trade line is My Jewelers Club, as you all know. And the bottom line to the story is they do hard inquiry, but it's worth it. They report to all three credit bureaus. And again, I'm going to say it again. The car payments, the mortgage companies, all these guys do not care how many inquiries you have. 
The only people that care about the inquiries is FICO, the credit bureaus. Why? Because they want to try and keep your credit score down. Why? Because that allows the car companies or any loan product to charge you a higher interest rate the lower your credit score is. But the guys don't care. They don't look at your report and go, oh, man, the guy applied at 20 different places. You know why? Because when you apply for a mortgage, they actually send out, your mortgage lender will send out to 10, 15 different places trying to get the best deal for you. And it shows up on your credit report. But it doesn't usually ding you because they have this 45-day window. As long as you do it all within 30 days, then it doesn't count as freaking 15 inquiries. But sometimes they do make it 15 inquiries and mess up people's credit files. But I'm just saying, they don't care about that. They're just looking to find out, hey, this guy has a 680 credit score. Who's going to finance him at the lowest rate? We got to send it out to about five, six, eight, ten banks to find out, see if somebody will make it happen. So anyhow, my jewelers club, $5,000 primary trade line reports to all three credit bureaus. And after you have to order $100 or more initially, and then you will pay $30 a month until it's paid off. You at the end of one year, you have a choice. You can either renew for $99 or cancel. And if you don't pay, then they close the account. But again, you buy $100 or more, you put 50% down when you order, and then they bill you $30 a month. Usually you're going to be paid off in three months or less. And then the rest of the year, they keep reporting to all three trade lines at credit bureaus, and your debt utilization is at zero for my jewelers, which helps your overall debt utilization. Again, $5,000 primary trade line. Now, New Coast Direct is another $5,000 primary trade line. They work the same way as my jewelers club and they report to all three credit bureaus. Yes, they do a hard inquiry. And yes, you have to order $100 or more. They do the same thing. You put 50% down now and then you pay them $30 a month. You'll be paid off in three or four months. And then they report for the remaining seven, eight, nine months. And then you have a choice to make at the end of a year if you're going to renew or not. If you do not renew, then they stop reporting. Simple. All right. But this, again, is how you can build up your credit file and reduce your debt utilization easily. Ox Publishing is the other one. They do a hard inquiry. It's 15 a $2,500 primary trade line. They only report to Equifax. But, hey, there are companies that only pull Equifax still. And... In your overall FICO score, it helps out as well. So you can't go wrong with the $2,500 primary trade line. Again, you put 50% down, then you got to pay roughly $30 a month. The thing about them is once you pay it off, if you order some more items, they will increase your credit limit. So you can go from $2,500 to $3,000 or possibly $3,500, which helps your debt utilization and your on-time payments. And once again, at the end of the year, you have a renewal situation coming up, $99. But again, they will raise your credit limit. All right? And last but not least, Hutton Chase also reports to Equifax, except a $1,500 primary trade line, and they do the same thing. If you pay off your initial payment plan, then they will offer you, hey, if you buy some new products, then we'll increase your credit line. And again, that helps you out. That looks good. And then it's only the cost of renewal at the end of a year. And now your credit is looking good. And all together, you have over 10 potential credit reporting accounts. And that's what you need, ladies and gentlemen. You need 11. 10 or 11. 10 is what you really need to show lenders, borrowers, creditors, you need to show them, hey, I got a mix of things going on because most people are going to have a car or a house or both already reporting on their credit file. So this just helps them see that, hey, this guy's paying all this stuff on time and he has a diversity of credit. And now you're going to get approved and now your credit score is going to be well into the 700s. And now you can go down to any bank and go get the official credit cards and they're going to say, OK, this guy's got a 10,000. This guy's got a 5,000, another 5,000, another 2,500, another 3,000. Hey, what's this thing on Credit Strong or Self Lender where it says he borrowed 9,000? Now, 
somebody's going to say, okay, we can give them a ten, fifteen thousand dollar credit card, unsecured. All right. So that's how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. That's why you have to understand that credit is an asset. And once you realize it and change that mindset, like I've been saying, then you start going, well, hell, it's worth building up my credit and making sure I maintain that credit score. Because at the end of the day, you will get offers in your mailbox saying 0% interest for 12 months, 0% interest for 14 months, 0% interest for 18 months, 0% interest for 24 months will be coming in your mailbox. And then you have venues of grandeur because you're sitting there looking at your thing going, hey, you know what? I got a $30,000 line of credit here or credit card and you're sitting there going did they just say I can do zero percent for two years zero percent for a year and a half I think I can buy something that generates revenue with uh, that kind of money at my disposal and let's not say you might have two cards like that coming around might have three now all of a sudden you're into multi-family situations all right ladies and gentlemen I can only lead you to the water for long enough but we're gonna keep it going so anyhow Keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.